Hey folks, Technivorous here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to add the Artillery Genius printer to Kira so we can access its ready-made profile, which is actually pretty, pretty decent and a great place to start off when starting out with your Artillery Genius printer. Technivorous channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivorous. All right, so super simple process. As mentioned in the thumbnail, it is really, really easy to do this. I'm gonna jump over, I have two versions of Kira open. This is the Arachne Beta, and I don't yet have this printer added in. So we're gonna jump over and we're gonna click either settings, printer, add printer, or you can also click on the printer selection window and click add printer or manage printers down here. We're gonna click add printer there and we're going to select add a non-network printer from there you are going to scroll down ultimaker is first because they make the software but from there it goes in alphabetical order and artillery is pretty high up on the list so we'll find that there are two printers in here the genius and the sidewinder x1 we are looking for the genius today and clicking on that will bring in everything we need a quick note you will notice that the authors of this profile are listed under the information Quick thank you to them. This profile does work really, really well. So let's pop this in. Click add. And it will take just a second here. And there it goes. It brings up some machine settings. Oh, I accidentally double clicked it. There we go. I've brought it back now. And this is the basic machine settings. It's going to have your size in here, your build plate shape. G code flavor as well as some start and end G code. Now a little bit about this. If you're new to 3D printing, G code is the way that files are sent to your printer. It's basically a machine code that will allow the extruder and the motors to move as they need to in order to facilitate the building of your model. That said, the start G code is a special chunk of code that's going to be executed before it runs a print. So in this code, there is actually the code to draw what is known as a purge line, and that is this move to start line position, draw first line, move a little, draw a second line. That's what these commands are telling it to do. And what that's going to do is prime your nozzle and get any, any little bits that aren't coming out right. It'll get it flowing nicely. So definitely want that in there. We're going to leave everything generic in there, as well as the end G code in here are things that are going to run after your print, such as where to move the bed to, whether or not to home the machine, which you generally don't want to do. Sometimes that can knock a model off and things like that. So we're also going to leave this as it is and we're just going to click close. Quick side note, if you want to get back into there, change something or alter the G code, what you're going to do is go to settings, printer, and click the wrong one. This time we're going to click settings, printer, and manage printers. There we go. From here, we'll select the printer we want to update, which in this case is the Artillery Genius, and then click Machine Settings. That's how I reopened this window. Uh, you might notice this where it says Origin at Center. It is not ticked. You want to leave that unticked because it is not what it says it is. If you click this, it'll change the origin to the front left of the build plate, and your models won't print properly. So go ahead and close that, and close that, and we are all set up to import a model and print. If you'd like to see more about the settings for printing an actual model in Kira, I will put up a playlist up here that will break them down for you, and that's going to be it for this one. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Pay no attention to the mess going on behind me. Pay more attention to the mess going on on my shirt. Check this out. Finally got the merch available. That's right, finally hit 10K, so the merch is finally here. Make sure you check out the Teespring merchandise bar below the video. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe because we have more videos coming your way. In fact, I've thrown a couple of suggestions, videos for you to watch on the screen right now, so go ahead and check those out. When you get done, don't forget to pop over and check out the merchandise. There's plenty of stuff to see, and thanks for watching, guys.